Hello, welcome to Yoga Nidra Bedtime Stories. This is the first of our six week session uh, where I'll be combining some readings and themes from my new book, A Lotus on Fire, with our Yoga Nidra practice. And so tonight we're going to consider the whole evolution of a lotus. So in Buddhism, there is this lovely metaphor of the lotus flower growing out of the mud. So it's a lovely metaphor for um, our, our sense of evolving and taking some of the muckier stuff from our life, some of the unpleasant things, some of the suffering, learning from it and having the wisdom from it and finding um, the joy of, of life. And so it's this lovely um, integration. It's about the interbeing of both joy and suffering in our life. And as Thich Nhat Hanh quite often says, we can't have one without the other. And we know that. We have times in our life where we do suffer. And then we have other times where there's joy. But we know somehow that the two are interconnected. So I have some lovely pictures to show. And they are from uh, Plum Village. And they show the whole evolution of the lotus from the muckiness all the way to the beautiful uh, blossom. So I hope this will help to give us an image and inspire our practice this evening. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, share that. Let's see. Can everyone see that? All right. Okay, much better now. Good. And so we talked about the muddiness of the lotus. There we are. There's the mud of the lotus. So this is from, uh, this is actually in the fall time. And uh, Doug and I happened to be there in October. And that's a time where we clean out the lotus pond. And it's a very mucky job, as you can see. You need some good rubber boots. And sometimes those boots get stuck. But we're just clearing up the lotus leaves and everything gets used and make lotus tea at the monastery and here you can see it's completely uh, cleaned out and uh, ready to go through the fall and the winter time now this is at the beginning of june so every two years there is what's called the 21 day retreat and that is a beautiful retreat that starts on June 1st and ends on June 21st. So you can see right now out of the mud, we have all this green possibility of leaves and stems starting to show. And then you can see how the lotus begin to just shoot up on these really long stems. But you notice that the bud is still quite tightly bound, that it needs the warmth of the sun to gently encourage it to be open. And so there's a nice metaphor there as well. And you can see that one lotus has begun to just begin to open to the sun. It's always lovely to sit by the lotus pond to just sit and, and, and watch all the aliveness and everything that's happening in the lotus pond. So much to reflect on both outer and inner. Another shot you can see of the 
long green stems and then just the slight um, pink tinge of the lotus. We'll see it a little bit more in this picture. You can see a little bit of the pink starting to show, a delicate inner blossom that will slowly reveal itself in this journey. Uh, it's beginning to peek out a little tiny bit, not as shy as it was. Ah, and now that one lotus has encouraged the other lotuses to begin to open as well. So there's a good lesson here that we don't open just by ourselves, that we need community to support us in our opening and our healing. We can see one's open here to the sun. A couple more late bloomers that still need a little bit more gentle encouragement and the light of the sun, the light of awareness. Mm. Such a beautiful flower and such beautiful colors that begin to reveal themselves and so the the petals just naturally begin to expand and open i love this one you can see also not only the blossom but you can see how the the veins on the leaves and you see how the the different colors and shades and how the sun uh, just makes it a little bit more transparent and open. And so you can see, I think if you look down below on this picture, you can see uh, some of the mud that the lotus has to just gently grow out from until it finds the light of the sun. And here is the lotus in full bloom, not shy anymore, just showing off. Here I am, I am open and I'm willing to completely expand. And you can see the, the yellow part of the, the stamen in there, just a beautiful open flower, the white inside and the pink tinge on the outside. We have the whole pond opening, this whole community opening to the light of the sun together. And this one, if you look closely across the pond, there's our teacher Thich Nhat Hanh. And this was just a lovely moment of gazing across the lotus pond at my teacher and of course it was Thich Nhat Hanh that inspired uh, my book, my spiritual memoir, A Lotus on Fire. Ah, and looks what's blossomed here. It is uh, me just uh, contemplating a, a lotus there. Beautiful, beautiful moment. And there's Thich Nhat Hanh, and uh, he suffered quite a serious stroke in 2014 that he never fully recovered from, but he still loved the lotus flowers. So this is a precious picture of him just um, smelling and being with the lotus flower. He passed away a year ago in January. And so you can see that the, his cushion is empty, but he is still very much with us and continues through all of his students and community in every conscious breath we take, in every mindful step. And this is one of his calligraphies. No mud, no lotus. A full life. 
has that sense of muddiness or the muckiness of suffering in order to grow a beautiful lotus like the ones that we just looked at. So I hope you enjoyed my evolution of a lotus because we're going to be focusing our practice on really feeling and sensing into the blooming of a lotus in our bodies and minds and most of all in our souls. So we're going to uh, start with a bit of a seated um, breath meditation and warm up. I'll move back a little tiny bit here. And so I encourage you to have something to sit on. I have this little cushion, half moon cushion that I use. If you have, a, you know, just a cushion from your sofa or a cushion uh, or even a, a block will work as well. It's nice if you can sit cross-legged. I need to support this knee with a little bit of extra uh, support here. So just finding a moment. You can also have your leg extended if that feels better for you. Sometimes I do that. And so just making yourself comfortable so that you can sit tall and enjoy a little bit of movement and some breath awareness to just calm our minds and bring us into ourselves and onto our mats. We'll start with the sound of a bell, inviting us to come home to ourselves, to come home to our true nature. So you might want to begin with a deep cleansing breath just to release your day. So breathing in deeply through your nose, pause a moment, lungs full. And as you exhale, release your day. Let whatever's happened go. And take another deep breath in, lungs full, really Receive that gift of breath and prana. And as you exhale, feel the weight of your body physically settling into your mat. And then just breathing easily and naturally in and out through your nose. Just being in touch with this wave-like movement of breath very solid and settled in your lower body, but feeling a sense of lengthening up through the spine and through the crown of the head as you sit tall. Tuning into the breath, observing how you come to your mat. adding a little bit of a wave-like movement with our arms. So just rest your hands with your palms down for a moment. Tune into your breath. On your next inhale, just let your arms just gently float up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, let them float down. How that feels. 
Inhale, the arms float up, just reaching however far you can. And then exhale down. And then we might also want to use our spine here. So as you inhale, lifting up, maybe taking it into a little bit of a back bend. And as you exhale, just gently folding forward a little tiny bit, placing your palms on the ground. And then inhale, reaching up. Oh, it's like that flower, that lotus flower, lifting up towards the light, the sun. Beautiful. Let's try that a few times. Just follow your own natural breath and movement. Time, inhaling up, and then just let your hands just release on the wrist. Just a little circling movement, little lotus flowers coming in. Letting go of any typing or keyboarding you might have done. Maybe shake your hands out a little tiny bit. And then let's take just a little side stretch from side to side. Maybe one arm releases down. And then inhaling up through center. The other arm comes up and over and across. Beginning to open up through the rib cage. Inhale. Exhaling up and over. So nice to create some space in our bodies. When we create space in our bodies, it creates space in our minds, and last time. Beautiful, bring both arms down. And then just clasp your hands gently on your lap. And so still sitting nice and tall, we have this nice base for your legs and your lower body. Tuning into your breath. Tuning into your breath exactly as it is. Let go of trying to control the breath. Just allow the breath to begin to connect body and mind. Allow each breath to settle your mind, help to calm your nervous system. Letting go of however the day has unfolded for you. Each time you inhale, a sense of welcoming yourself into your body and your inner world. Each time you exhale, feel the weight of your hips and your pelvis just releasing into the ground. Inhale, welcoming the breath, welcoming yourself. Exhale, Feeling the heaviness in your thighs, your legs. Relaxing any tension in the face, the jaw, the eyes, anywhere else in your body. Feeling down into your hips and your pelvis and your sit bones. Imagine growing deep roots into the soil of Mother Earth. And now as you inhale, imagine breathing her nurturing energy all the way up through the stem of your spine, all the way up to the crown of the head. And as you exhale, sending your sense of gratitude back to the earth. So inhaling out of the earth, up through your spine, up to the crown of the head. 
exhaling with gratitude back to the breath. And so settling into that rhythm of breath, that image of drawing this beautiful energy of the earth up your spine, clearing away any leftover tension, clearing any blockages in your spine or your nervous system. Relax in your face, in your shoulders. Feeling very grounded in your lower body. Light and tall and spacious in your upper body. Beautiful. So we'll stay with this image of really receiving um, the energy and nurturing of the earth beneath us. So we have this solid foundation to work from. We're going to warm up and do some gentle stretches in a seated position. So you might want to now stretch your legs out in front of you with both feet flexed. I'm going to move back just a tiny little bit so you can see a little bit um, more here. So this is staff pose. So you might want to just release from side to side, release the flesh, the buttocks out of the way, and just let your fingertips gently rest into the ground. Again, inhale, lengthening up through the spine. Exhale, let's relax your shoulders a little tiny bit. So we'll move into a, a nice sequence for releasing the hips, the spine, and a lovely stretch for the shoulders and upper back as well. So begin by bending your right knee, and then cross your right foot over your left leg. Now this might cause you to be a little bit feel a little bit um, unbalanced here. So bring your thumb into your hip crease and gently draw that sit bone down. So you wanna feel like you are rooting down equally through both sit bones so that you can still have that sense of being firmly grounded, connected to the earth, while at the same time lengthening up through your spine. Beautiful. And now we'll start with an arm and shoulder stretch. So inhale, stretch your arms out to the side. And as you exhale, crossing your left arm over your right arm. And give yourself a big hug to begin with. So draw the shoulders down, drop the chin, and feel a really nice stretch through the upper back and the shoulders for a moment and breathe into the space between the shoulder blades. Each breath creating a little bit more space. Relax any tension in your face. And now we'll progress this stretch a little bit to, this is often called 
eagle arms or eagle pose. I'm going to rename it lotus blossom pose tonight, and I hope you'll see why in a moment. So you're keeping your elbows squeezed together, and just see what it feels like if you can squeeze your forearms towards each other, and maybe if you can cross into hands. But we'll imagine that our hands are like lotus blossom, so you can make them into whatever shape you want to. So watch that you're not rounding and slouching. Stay nice and tall. I'm resting my elbows on my knee here, and that allows the shoulders to relax. And come back to that nice, smooth, easy breath, breathing in the energy of Mother Earth up your spine. And as you exhale, softening and releasing wherever you need to. Allow your fingers to be soft, your hands soft, those soft lotus petals slowly opening. Continue to feel that nice stretch across the upper back and shoulders. On your next inhale, gently sweep the arms out. And as you exhale, just float your hands down like they were lotus petals, just gently releasing back down until your fingertips rest. Maybe give a little roll of your shoulders here. And you might want to just gently turn your head from side to side, release any tension in your neck. Beautiful. All right, so from here, we're going to do a little, add a little twist to our lotus, so twisting around the axis of our spine or our stem. So right hand is behind you, left hand on that right knee. And inhale, lengthen the spine to begin with. And then exhale as you twist a little bit towards the right. And then again, inhale, lengthen a little bit more. Exhale, maybe there's a little bit more room for you to twist. And so just continue just moving a little bit deeper into the pose if that's available for you. And you might be able to actually take the knee into the elbow here as you go a little bit further. Make sure you keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. And keep the heart lifted. So have that lovely broadness through the chest and the heart center. And then the head, the top of your lotus flower, just gently turns, gazing behind you. Beyond that right shoulder. Keep imagining that Inhaling that uplifting energy, reaching up through the spine, through the stem of your lotus. And take one more breath in. And as you exhale, slowly bring yourself back through center, you can go ahead and uncross, maybe shake out your legs a little bit, give yourself a little bit of a wiggle there to release, and let's take a cleansing breath here, so inhale through your nose, pause with your lungs full, and a long slow exhale out through your mouth, just releasing whatever needs to release in you. Take a moment as you sit here in staff pose. Reconnect to that lovely, slow, smooth, easy breath. And let's 
let's go to the other side. So bending your left knee, crossing left over right. Notice you might have got a little bit tippy, so take your left thumb and that left hip and drive back down. And then think about just sitting tall. Let's just clasp your hands in front of the knee for a moment. And just focus on that sense of being rooted into the ground through the base of your spine. And at the same time, lengthening up through the spine. Each inhale, feeling that lengthening movement. Each exhale, soften and release whatever needs to soften and be let go of. And then finding our lotus wings, inhale, opening up from the heart center all the way, and then exhale, this time crossing right over left. Give yourself a big hug. Draw the shoulders down, drop the chin, feel that nice stretch through the back of the neck and the upper back. Sending some breath and some loving kindness to that space between the shoulder blades. Just breathing. Holding yourself gently not only with your hands, but with your awareness. Let go of any sense of judgment here. And then moving into our lotus arms. So elbows press into each other, drawing the backs of your forearms towards each other. If it's available to you, just kind of crossing at the wrists here. And you might find that one side is different than the other. You can gently rest your elbow onto that upright knee. Let your fingers stretch open towards the sun. The lotus going up into the sky. Notice whether you kind of collapse through your back and sit up nice and tall at the Stem of your lotus, nice and straight. Softening your eyes, relaxing your ears. Relaxing tension in the jaw. Breathe into that upper back area, the space behind the heart center. Need to release on the next inhale, open the arms nice and wide, those lotus wings, and then the lotus petals just float back down the ground. Beautiful. Yourself a little roll of the shoulders there. And then we'll move into our twist. So right hand to your left knee, left hand behind you. Remember to inhale and lengthen your lotus stem first and then exhale. Feel yourself gently twisting just a little bit, not your mat. And then inhale, re-lengthen the spine. Exhale, maybe you can find a little bit more twist and rotation. And remember, the head is the last to go. And you can either find a place to gaze beyond your left shoulder, or sometimes it's nice to close your eyes and let the gaze be inwards, watching your breath, Aware of how your body is responding to the spiraling energy of the twist. Keep 
your shoulders relax, with the heart lifted, open. One more breath. As you exhale, slowly find your way back to center. That eagle can uncross. Ah, shake it out. Maybe flex and point your feet a few times. Shake out your lotus hands. Beautiful. All right, we're going to lie down on our mats. We'll do one more uh, stretch and release before we move into our practice of yoga nidra. So go ahead and lie down on your mat. I'm going to go ahead and switch mat and maybe switch up the camera here. Perfect. Maybe that's my mat. All right. I usually like to have something for my head. My little half moon pillow that I sit on is also good for lying my head on. Beautiful. And so just take a moment here. Let's give a little hug in of your knees. Oh, that feels so nice. And gently roll from side to side. Massage out to the sacrum, to the lower back. Really nurturing and taking care of yourself. Right. Releasing both feet down. You can release the arms out to the sides for a moment. And feel the whole weight of your body resting into the ground here. And take a cleansing breath, breathing in through the nose. Feel the lungs. And that long, slow exhale the weight of your bones, your muscles, release. Back to your natural breath. And now crossing your right ankle over your left thigh here. And then just gently rocking the hips from side to side. So you're rolling through that left foot, just letting your Whole body release. The upper body stays still. Although, if you like, you can gently turn your head in the opposite direction of the legs. That whole spine is getting that nice, continuing to get that nice twisted action. And then gently come back to center. Feel your breath, nice and relaxed and smooth. And so you might already be feeling a little bit of a, a stretch and opening through the inner thigh and the outer hip. If you want more of a stretch, lift that left foot off the ground, reach behind that left thigh and gently draw it in. You should get a nice stretch through the outer hip and outer thigh here. Stay in a comfortable range of motion for you. If you find that it's too much to grasp, you can just have a little block and just have the foot resting on the block. That's a little bit more stretch than having it on the ground. So the beauty of our practice is that we can adjust our practice for whatever's happening for our body. 
Keep the shoulders relaxed. Get that wave of breath as it moves through your belly and your rib cage. So be aware of where there might be some holding back, some restrictions, some tension. And as you exhale, can you imagine sending the breath to that place in your body, whether it's to muscles or to the joint? Let each breath create a little bit more space. A little bit more awareness. One more breath. And as you exhale, releasing that left foot to the ground. And then go ahead. And then you might want to, again, with both feet off the ground, take your palms to your knees and create two separate circles with your knees. And just really open up through the hip sockets. And then releasing both feet down, relax your arms for a moment. Centering breath all the way in, all the way out. Everything settles and dissolves again. And then crossing your left ankle over your right thigh, tending that knee out and away from the body. And then again, just gent gently rocking your hips, your legs from side to side. Pretty good through the hips and into the lower back here. And then bring it back to center. You're welcome to keep that right foot on the ground or if it feels all right for you, gently reach and clasp behind the right leg. Again, letting the feet relax. And try to keep the hips and pelvis balanced so you're not rolling to one side or the other at all. Shoulders relaxed. Breathing into the stretch through the outer hip and outer thigh. Notice if there's tension in your face. Right? Often when there's tension in our face, we're trying too hard or there's tension elsewhere in the body. Really focus on softening the forehead, softening around the eyes, relaxing any tension in the jaw. Be with your experience exactly as it is. One more breath in. And as you exhale, releasing that right foot down, uncrossing. And one more time, let's take a little hug of the knees in. This time, tracing one large circle with both knees, tracing a circle with your lower back on the ground. And switch directions, other way. And then release your feet down. And we should be nice 
and comfortable, stretched out, ready for our yoga nidra practice. So doing whatever you need to be comfortable lying down on the floor, or if you would rather do this practice lying on your bed or in an easy chair, go ahead and do that. Remember, if you are lying on the floor, you will want a cushion for your head. You will likely want a bolster behind your knees. That usually creates a little bit more comfort and ease for the lower back. Lying down, and it's pretty warm here tonight. But remember that if it's cool where you are to cover yourself with a blanket. A blanket will also give the body a sense of safety and ease. It allows, when we feel safe, the body is able to feel like it can release and let go. So go ahead and finish getting yourself nice and comfy. Maybe I'll keep that light on. So stretching your legs out along the ground giving your legs lots of space, and then just allow the feet to fall out gently from the ankles. And then notice how your hips and your pelvis feels. On your next inhale, squeezing the buttocks, the hips will rise a little tiny bit. And as you exhale, soften, relax the buttocks, allow the hips and the pelvis be heavy to release. Nice way to release the lower back. Arms stretch out lightly to the sides, about 45 degrees. You have space underneath your armpits. Traditionally, we turn the palms up and open like a lotus flower. But if that's not comfortable for your shoulders, then release the hands down. Most important is to be comfortable. Before we settle completely, you might want to just gently turn the head from side to side. Just let anything in the neck release. And bring the head back to center. Slightly draw your chin down a little bit so you feel a nice lengthening through the back of the neck. And take a nice cleansing breath, breathing in, pausing a moment, and that long, slow exhale of surrender, surrendering the weight of your body back to the ground, surrendering yourself back into the arms of Mother Earth. So this evening in our practice of yoga nidra, using those images of the lotus pond and the lotus blossoms to inspire our practice. And just as we're settling into the practice, I'm going to read a little bit from A Lotus on Fire, a little bit about the lotus pond. A 
my book is written in the format of letters to my teacher. So it begins with, Dear Ty, today before your Dharma talk, I sat down by the lotus pond where the sun already warm on my back caught tiny droplets of water on the smooth lotus leaves. Once more, the sun reflected like thousands of tiny diamonds shimmering in an ocean of mud. Somehow, the lotus pond seems to be a metaphor for what is happening inside me. I think you planned the dates of this retreat exactly for that reason. I can imagine the smile of joy it brings you to watch the lotus bloom, both plant and human. When I first arrived and sat down by the lotus pond, there was only a mass of tangled stems and leaves covering the mystery of what lies beneath. Yet, as I have kept returning to sit and breathe quietly, I have felt a sense of aliveness beneath the murky depth. Last week, I noticed a few green buds on long stems reaching up out of the depths towards the sky. The buds were still tightly bound, as if too afraid to open to the full light of the sun yet. Now they've begun to relax a bit tinged with the blush of the pink lotus blossoms they will become. Perhaps they are reflecting the tender blush of my heart beginning to open. And so I invite you into the soil of your own body, perhaps a mass of stems and leaves, and perhaps we can shine the light of our awareness to invite our bodies, our heart, the lotus in our heart to begin to blossom and bloom. And so beginning by bringing awareness to the feeling of your breath, the breath of life, the gift of life. And feel the rising and falling of the breath in your abdomen. Breathing in as the abdomen gently swells. Breathing out as the abdomen just gently softens on its own. No force, no strain. Just falling into that natural rhythm of your breath. And trusting that the breath can guide you inwards, guide you into those dark and muddy spaces within. Shine a gentle light. And imagine following the in-breath all the way in, so feel it in the back of the throat, down into the lungs, and follow the out breath all the way back out. Slow, smooth wave of breath, all the way in, all the way out. And each time you breathe out, feel the weight of the body settling a little bit more into the surface that you're lying on. Softening through the back of the head, softening through the backs of the shoulders, the upper back, the back of the pelvis, the legs, the backs of the heels. 
Let yourself soften and relax into the arms of Mother Earth. It's safe to be here, to be held with the softness of your eyelids, gently close. Perhaps moisten your lips and relax the mouth and the jaw. Put a touch of air on your skin. The rhythm of each and every breath. Creating a sankalpa, an inner intention, a heartfelt prayer. It may simply be, I am opening. I am opening to light. I am blossoming. Stated in the present moment, present tense. Trusting whatever this intention is, as you repeat it silently in your mind, you're planting the seeds for this intention to fully manifest in your life. And come back to the feeling of the breath in your belly, rising and falling. Just keep relaxing all of those inner muscles of the abdomen, becoming completely soft. You might want to shift your awareness to the right side of your abdomen. See if you can soften and release to the right side of your abdomen. And then shift a little bit to the left side of your abdomen. Noticing any tension, any constriction there. Just breathing. And bring awareness back to the center of your abdomen. You might want to imagine a lotus flower here in your abdomen. So you inhale, perhaps the, those tightly bound petals begin to release and open. As you exhale, they relax and soften a little bit more. Imagining the lotus blossom in your abdomen opening and softening a little bit more with every single breath. And now shifting your awareness a little bit higher now up into the solar plexus area, lower part of the rib cage. Again, as you inhale, let that breath create a little bit more space. And as you exhale, it softens. We carry a lot of tension in our abdomen, in our solar plexus, some of our primal fears can be here. You might want to shift your awareness a little bit to the right side, so maybe into the right side of your rib cage. Get in touch with the right lung. Create a little bit more space for the right lung to just receive that gift of breath. Soften and empty completely on the exhale.
And then shifting your awareness to the left side of the rib cage. Inhale as you create a little bit more space. The rib cage lifts and expands. Exhale as you soften. Let go of force or strain and just allow the breath to be very natural, very organic. There's nothing that you have to make happen here. And then shift your awareness back to the center, the solar plexus. Reconnect to that image of the lotus flower. As you inhale, that lotus flower just gently begins to open to the light of your awareness. As you exhale, there's that softening. Your body knows how to breathe naturally, knows how to release. Feel the billowing movement of the breath, the blooming of a lotus. Continue to feel yourself carried by Mother Earth. You can let go. You can trust her. And now bring your awareness a little higher now to your heart center, the center of the chest. Right? Often we wear a lot of armor in here. So be gentle and patient. And just feel your breath gently opening, softening, releasing in the heart center. And shift your awareness to the right side of the chest. Notice if there's tension or holding here. And shifting your awareness to the left side of your chest. Breathing, sensing, softening here. Bring your awareness back to the very center of your chest, the heart center. In yoga, we call it the Hridaya, the cave of the heart. You might imagine a lotus here in the cave of your heart. Just feel with every breath the petals gently unfolding. As you breathe in, breathe in as if you can smell the fragrance of the lotus. You're in a garden full of flowers. Just breathe in that fragrance into your heart center. Relaxing, releasing with every single breath. Loving kindness yourself and your own sweet heart. Now bring awareness to the feeling of your throat. Maybe swallow to relax any tension in the throat. It's helpful, keep imagining a lotus flower. Imagine releasing any unspoken words. Let them go. And then bringing awareness right up into the center of your head. Just imagine breathing here and maybe the lotus flower is at the center of your head. Maybe 
very gentle here. We can be very busy in our heads. So let each breath create a little bit more space. Begin to touch in on qualities of spaciousness and relaxation in your mind. Imagine breath coming in through your nose, through your eyes, to your ears. Top of the head, like windows open to a gentle breeze, just gently clearing away any remaining thoughts. Let that beautiful lotus continue to blossom and bloom. to breathe gently the whole torso receive that wave of breath and bring awareness now through the back of the neck feel that little space there and imagine a lotus blossom at the back of your neck and breathe in there, and as you exhale, imagine sending relaxing energy in the backs, the upper back, and the backs of your shoulders. And breathing in, in that lotus flower, exhale through the backs of the shoulders, the arms, right into your hands. Releasing anything you're carrying in the shoulders, the arms. With your palms turned upwards, you might imagine two small lotus blossoms you're holding in each hand. Maybe even as you breathe, as you inhale, the fingers open like petals, just softly. And as you exhale, they soften. Inhale, the fingers stretch open a little bit like lotus buds. And exhale, they soften. And let go of intentionally making that movement happen and just allow your palms to be very soft and open and receptive. open to the warmth and light of the sun. Letting go. Bring awareness back to that feeling at the back of your neck, that lotus. Inhaling the breath. You exhale, imagine sending healing lotus energy to the upper back area. Let the shoulder blades soften and release. Feel that sense of dissolving through the upper back and shoulder blades like water seeping into the earth. And again, from that lotus blossom in the back of the neck, inhaling as you exhale, send that healing lotus energy to the middle part of your back. Releasing any tension or strain in this area. And that sense of water seeping into the earth, dissolving. Inhaling from the lotus in the back of the neck. Exhaling now to the lower back. Softening, releasing any tension in the lower back. 
flow back to Mother Earth. Feeling the entire back soft, relaxed. Feel yourself gently held. Bring awareness now to the hips and the pelvis. Bring awareness deep into the hip sockets. You might imagine lotus flower in each hip socket. Each inhale, opening, creating a little bit of space. And as you exhale, send that healing lotus energy down through your legs, your thighs, your knees, your lower legs, and your feet. Inhale from those lotus blossoms in your hips. Exhale, calm, relaxing energy moving down through the legs and feet. Feel the legs becoming heavy and relaxed. Now imagine lotus blossoms in the bottoms of your feet. Lots of nerve endings in the feet. And breathe in through the bottom soles of your feet into that, those lotus petals, your toes, and the space between your toes. Breathing gently here. Allow your feet to release, relax. Bring awareness to the feeling of your whole body. Your whole body, like a lotus pond, a little field of lotuses blossoming, blooming with every single breath. Whole body opening to the warmth of the sun, blossoming and blooming, sparkling in the sunlight, feeling light and spacious. shimmering with light. The whole body breathing alive with new possibilities. Let yourself rest in this shimmering field of light and lightness of being.
relaxed and at ease. Feeling the sound of the singing bowl shimmering in every cell of your body. blossoming of the lotus, the blooming of new possibilities. You might want to take a deeper breath in now. Exhale, feeling back into that support of Mother Earth, the soil, the mud. Beginning to wiggle your fingers and your toes and delighting in those movements. And taking whatever other movements or stretches that you need. And taking your time Remember to slowly roll over onto your side first and just rest there for a moment. The end of our practice is always a really fertile time. So just notice whether any insights, little images that might come to mind from your practice, the soul whispers, as I often call them. open to them now and be open to whatever your dreams might be tonight. When it feels right, bring yourself up to a seated position or just rest where you are if you want to stay where you are. We are going to close our practice with a short uh, meditation. So just finding a comfortable seated position. Coming back to the breath, the breath of life. Feeling into the ground, the earth beneath you. And as you breathe in, breathe in that beautiful earth energy right up your spine, but just to your heart center. And then exhale, release it back down with so much gratitude to the earth and all she provides. Inhale from the earth right up to your heart center. Exhaling back with gratitude. Few more times just really sensing into that beautiful integrated energy between you and the earth. And now leave that for a moment and imagine a lotus flower right at the very crown of your head, open to the sky, open to the sun above you. Inhale through the lotus crown at the top of your head down to your heart center. And as you exhale back up to the sky with gratitude. Inhaling the light of the sun vastness of wisdom, exhaling back to the sky. And 
economy. On your next inhale, inhale back to your heart center, but stay there. Just resting in your heart center. Integrating earth and sky, body and spirit, form and formless in your heart. Imagining a beautiful lotus flower blooming in the cave of your heart. Om Mani Padme Hum, the, lotus, the jewel of the lotus is in the heart. Om Mani Padme Hum. Repeating that a few times, really feeling the resonance in your heart center. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Beautiful mantra to take into your daily life. To always come back to your heart center. And so bring your hands to your heart center, but don't bring just bring your hands into the shape of a lotus flower here so it's just the heels of your hands together and gaze into your hands see all the lines and the beauty of your life and what's blossoming from your life and then gently bring your palms together and with gratitude and a deep bow to you in your heart Namaste. Om Mani Padme Hum.